G'day guys, I'm Ryan Ingleton and this is my lovely wife Amanda. Hi everyone. Today what we're going to do for you, we're going to show you how to make the most awesome homemade burger patties that we call in Australia Rissoles you've ever tasted in your life. And to add to that, we're going to show you how to make the most amazing coleslaw that all of your friends will love with our little secret ingredient, Jim Beam. All right guys, now to kick this beautiful recipe off, what we need is well, for our family, we've got a family of six, four boys. They eat, they eat like horses, I've got to tell you guys. It's a, it's, it's a real dilemma every single day. And normally I'm at work and Amanda has to do the cooking. But today what we're going to use no. is... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I cook extra and she doesn't have to worry about it. But today we're starting off fresh. And she's got 1.5 kilos of... Meat. Yeah, it is meat. It's lean mint because one of us have to lose a little bit of weight. And we don't want to get all technical over who it is, but it's probably oh, me. Oh, it's so probably me. It's probably me. Um, unfortunately, the camera adds 10 kilos to what you look like, but I, I actually think it's taken the weight off me. So, <laughs> we're on the lean mints today, guys, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. So 1.5 kilos, if you're in America, 3.3 pounds is what, just a quick calculation in my head that I've done, is what you're gonna need for this amazing recipe. So let's go, Noel. Chuck your meat in the bowl. Let's start this sucker off. Yeah? Get in there. <laughs> All right, so we're... <laughs> Now the best thing you've gotta do, once you get that meat in the bowl, you've gotta give it a slap. The bowl of meat? <laughs> Slap the meat up. We're oh, in the okay. <laughs> bloody bowl. Here we go. Look, we're dealing with amateurs Excuse here. But... <laughs> let's go with the bowl. Let's let's hit the yeah. mince. All right. We've got a few ingredients here, guys. We're going with the mince. Now, there's quite a few ingredients that you see here in front of us. We're going to use all of them, unfortunately. If you don't want to make a homemade risole cum burger patty. Just go down and buy them, they're bloody cheap. You can, no problems at all. But if you want something that tastes amazing to your friends, it's a little bit different, it's got a bit of a punch, hang around and watch what this super recipe does. All right guys, now the reason why we're cooking this meal inside is because outside at the moment in Sydney, Australia, it's raining, windy, it's absolutely bloody horrible or else I'd be doing this over the fire. So the first ingredient that you're gonna need for these legendary rissoles, burger patties, is an onion. Is an onion. <laughs> I love the onions. Amanda doesn't, doesn't like it on my bread. But here we go. If you haven't seen how I cut an onion, this is how we do it. It's like this. All right, now that's the <laughs> onion done. Now after that, you're also gonna need, what I like to put in my mince is, because we're using so much mince, you don't need to use this much, but I've, I've actually chopped up already two tomatoes. So first things first, we'll throw it in. Two tomatoes. Oh, I should let you do this stuff. That's alright. That's alright. We're going to put in take over. our one and a half... It probably happens. <laughs> we're going to put in our one and a half onions. And we're going to put that in because I love the taste. Now, next thing we need, those three little tubs over there, darling. We need the ginger, we need the garlic, and we need the chilli flavouring. So, okay. start opening them up. There's a new teaspoon for each. Oh no. We've got the plastic cover here on top. That's a brand new one. These are brand new. Oh, so, nice what, one. <laughs> so what we'll do is, yeah. we'll get this through. We're not going to hot relax this because we don't know how to. But we go. will. There we go. I'm useless on this. Put a comment in the section below how useless I am at getting the bloody top off something. We'll chuck, <laughs> it, we'll chuck, really? it, we'll chuck it over there. <laughs> so, That's what we're talking about. <laughs> so what we need, we need one good solid teaspoon of ginger. We need the same, all these ingredients are going to be the same for each spice so that they all level each other out. Good whack of garlic. Amanda loves the garlic as well. And we're also so going to chuck in the same amount of spice. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit less, sorry. I just don't know how hot it's going to turn out. So we're going to go half a teaspoon of chilli. Now I like to use the actual crushed garlic because it gives a better taste. I've tried many a times of just crushing my own fresh garlic and everything else, but it doesn't give that little bit of extra punch that we know everyone loves when you go on a bed at night and you're breathing on your partner. 
So. Sorry, I didn't connect on my wine either. Once we've got <laughs> to this section along here, the next ingredient that we need to put in would be the turmeric. Is this one? <laughs> yeah. Did you spin that around to read it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that's, the, that's the light spice. So, okay. Now, we put a good little splash of turmeric over everything. And if you don't know, guys, turmeric is an anti-inflammatory. And it's, <laughs> is that helping your diet? <laughs> it's not helping your diet. I don't eat much turmeric. <laughs> nice of it to be on me. But anyway, what can you do? It adds flavouring and adds colouring and adds spice and it's an anti-inflammatory. <laughs> I'm on the paprika now though because I want that smokiness in my hamburger patties. So, it's a, like, you could put at least a tablespoon of paprika. That's, that's more than a tablespoon. That's well. not more than a tablespoon. That's bloody perfect. Okay. So we're putting that in there. All right. So we've got the onion. We've got the turmeric. We've got the paprika. Now, next thing that we need is mixed herbs and spices. Now, you can cut all of your own stuff if you like. It's just easier for us to use these dry herbs. And it's the same, the same, well, the same again. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put just a smidgen across the whole of the mix there so that it just blends through nicely. Geez, if you could smell that, I don't know if that's oregano or basil, but that's that's really coming out. That's <laughs> that's really coming out of the that's mixture good. right there. It does smell good. Okay, so we'll put that there. Now we're up to a banner's part. We're into the red wine. She doesn't like red wine, she drinks white wine. Yeah. But if you can crack the top of that. How much is this Just start pouring and I'll tell you when it looks good. <laughs> A little bit more, please. That'll do. So what we're using there is probably half a cup of red wine. And guys, pick a good red wine, something that you would drink normally. I've picked a, a Cabernet Merlot from South Australia, and I picked that because, look, I've got a few friends that are South Australian. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> and, they, and they didn't have the Canunga Hill pen folds that I usually get, so I've gone for the South Australian. So I know that Sean and Troy, and definitely you, Chewy, is all from South Australia. So, here we are. We're up to this section right now. So what do we do from here now? It is time to mince. Mix. Mix, 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 sorry. It's time to mix, time to mix it all through. So, what we're gonna do now is, Amanda's gonna play nurse. She's gonna put these beautiful gloves on. <laughs> now you don't need to get your nurse's outfit today, doll. Oh, really? Don't, I, don't need to put this, I don't need to put this stethoscope on, but, what I want you to do is get in there, mix it through by hand, and while you do, today guys, probably can't get these gloves on today, but while she does, I forgot to add something, and we're gonna add it now. I'm gonna add two eggs. Now these eggs, funnily enough, Woolworths sold out of eggs, so I only had to pay like $50 for these organic eggs. These are chickens that were raised in Willy Wonka's factory, and they are the most <laughs> They're the most expensive eggs I've ever seen in my life. So I'm, I'm gonna sparingly use two. I'm, I'm ready to start now. with that. Yeah. Oh no. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm just gonna chuck the eggs in and keep this thing going. So once, what? Oh, geez, these bloody eggs. Organic they eggs. Squirters. They didn't want to give it up. <laughs> they are, they're squirters. So, and while Amanda mixes this and does an amazing job. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> Cooking 101 for Amanda. <laughs> oh wow. That's, a, That's it, get in there, Dale. different. Now if you want to spice it up more, you can put in more chili paste. You can use Tabasco sauce. We're actually going to be using that for the coleslaw in just a second. So we'll just keep watching Amanda work for a change. Well not for a change, but change today. Now once this is mixed, is that good enough? she's doing an amazing job. Yeah, just keep blending it through. I'm, I'm losing it. Don't, don't worry about it, we won't make you eat that. But once it's done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that in the fridge for about half an hour. We're just gonna let all those ingredients bind together, get a little bit stronger and all that. So when we make them into our patty or rissole size shapes, they'll hold together and they'll be a bit more firm. Oh, now you done. can it's done? I think so. Yeah, look, just give it another run round while I'm talking. Okay, so. I get lucky playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
it's always a crowd favourite. Now, we're gonna, as I said, we can use these in either the Rissole form or you can make them as a patty for your hamburger. So if you don't have time to go outside and cook them on a grill or it's terrible weather like it is here today, you can just do them in your little hot plate and you can also add your vegetables, your mashed potato, your gravy. They taste just as good, just the same. All right, so our man is done now. We're gonna move on to the coleslaw. We're gonna clean this area up. We're gonna move on to the coleslaw. Get on to the next section, put this in the fridge. Great job, Dale. Thanks. All right, guys, so we've done a really quick little tidy up here, and I'm gonna show you how to make the most sensational coleslaw using just a few ingredients that I learned from my mate, Jamie. It's Jamie Oliver, by the way, too. So, what you do, you get lovely whole mayonnaise. And we're gonna use, say, four tablespoons of this mayonnaise. Now, depending on, obviously, how big your coleslaw is gonna be, you can adjust that feature to whatever you like. And I've already got that dirty, so I'm not gonna worry about using that again. So, we head on to the ketchup, tomato sauce in Australia, guys, once again. Saw it on your hot dog video too, John, that you like your, uh, like your ketchup, mate. And you just put that little pour in there. That was probably, say, maybe three tablespoons that went in there. Gotta get the Tabasco sauce out. Gotta put a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat to go with all that crunch. So, I'm gonna actually put in, mm, that's, that's probably a little bit, <laughs> probably a little bit too much, but it's what I love. <laughs> the rest of the family might find that a little bit tough. Now, you can use onion vinegar or you can use apple cider vinegar. I like to use apple cider vinegar just because it's easier to get. Yeah. And we couldn't find the onion <laughs> Couldn't find it. You have to make it yourself. <laughs> so we've always used this for the last year and a half. So it's just another little drizzle in. And then we get to the stage where, look, I'm gonna add the Worcestershire sauce first, but then we get to a Amanda stage. And Amanda stage is that little bottle at the front there called Jim Beam. Mm -hmm. So, My best mate. you just put a few shakes of the Worcestershire sauce in there, and now Amanda's gonna add her favorite secret ingredient, the Jim Beam, to add just that little bit more punch to, uh, to our <laughs> coleslaw dressing. Do I get a taste test first? Just a... You can have a taste test. Oh. <laughs> well, well, that was more than just a taste test, guys, but you know what? Sometimes we have a little bit left over. <laughs> Sometimes we have a little bit left over. The and things we, we do for cooking. <laughs> with four kids. So, we're gonna add a little bit to our coleslaw there. And guys, look, I don't advise you drive after eating our coleslaw, <laughs> just in case there's a bit of a problem there. But I can tell you that it tastes bloody amazing. Where's the spoon? All right, give that puppy a bit of a whisk. Now, Dave, you said to me that you're having hamburgers tomorrow, which will be today by the time that you get to watch this video, mate. And it's almost Memorial Day for all of you people over there in the US. And it's a, it's a very special day. We were actually in the US, what, six, six years, years ago? Six years ago from today. Vegas. Vegas. Mm -hmm. We had all the memorial specials and everything like that. Amanda spent an amazing amount of money on clothes. Uh, but we know it's a very patriotic day, so for all of you over there, I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoy your burgers, Dave. And Amanda's gonna taste this coleslaw dressing now to see if this thing uh, is what it's cracked up to be. Excuse the fingers, we didn't have a spoon. Mm. Happy with it? That's good. Okay, hang on. You, you got it all at the table. That is sensational. Good. All right guys, so we've got the mints out of the actual freezer now, or not the freezer, the fridge. It's had it's half an hour resting time, so we're ready to roll it into it's magical little balls. But before we do, I just want to give a cheers. So Ryan, if you get your beer over there. I want to give a cheers to my best friend, Peter. It's your 40th birthday today. Welcome to the 40s, sweetheart. And thanks for being the best friend ever. I know I don't get to see you much, but I love you and have a great day. Cheers, Peter. Oh Amanda's going to put her gloves on. She's going to roll these little suckers up in a nice little ball. We're going to get them on the hot plate. We're going to get a toaster for it. And we're going to show you what these sensational burgers look like. 
And I hope you write in the comments, guys, if Amanda ever gets her gloves on, and if she ever stops swearing, I hope you write in the comments that you've tried this recipe, you love it, or you don't love it, doesn't matter either way, but you've had a crack at it. And that's all anyone ever wants in life anyway, is to have a crack at it, so. That's size enough, though. That's beautiful. Oh, that's good enough, a nice little tiny one. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. They're looking pretty good. So what we're going to do, we're going to put these little suckers on. Hard to regulate the temperature on these though. That's the only other thing. But you can do it on your cooktop as well in your oven at home. So we'll see these off. We'll cook these and we'll show you when it's all done. We'll come back in a minute. All right, guys. So the burgers are done. I've been lucky enough to get two of my boys to come out here for a taste test. So let's get in it, boys, and tell me what you think. Oh, well, it's a big bite, guys, so that, that's a positive start right off the bat. That's amazing, wow. Sweet, we've got one amazing. How about you, Hunter? Very unbelievable. Unbelievable. So that's what we love whenever we're cooking at home. We don't like anything to be given back. So guys, if you like our channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much for all your support. Cheers, guys.